According to analysis from Citigroup, about half of all new ETFs in Europe, the Middle East and Africa this year were ESG related. Now, green funds actually took in more money, that $4.2 billion in assets, than non-ESG funds, which attracted $3.8 billion. Well, still with us, Peter Thompson from Goldman Sachs asset management. Peter, how do you explain th this pickup in demand? Is it partly as, you know, the, the health crisis and the economic crisis hit, you see a lot more countries and the European Union trying to go through this green transformation, or is it just on returns? No, I'd say undoubtedly, Francine, it's been impacted by, you know, what's what's happened this year, you know, in, in particular with the with the COVID crisis. But I think, you know, this was, you know, this was coming. Right, ESG was getting bigger and bigger, and you know what's happened has just kind of catalyzed that. You know, I think made people think really hard about you know what that means, and I and I, th I think in particular the S of ESG that's been highlighted you know so dramatically by you know by the COVID crisis ha has really you know has really changed things you know w with the way people are considering this from an investing perspective. I mean, because we don't really have a taxonomy, we don't have a common language, Peter, once we have that, do, do you think that the demand and actually, you know, the products will grow significantly or is it something that's secondary? No, I think this is a, you know, a significant area of growth, almost, you know, almost unqualifiably, unqual Francine, right? And I think we're seeing also, and it depends on the country, of course, but particularly in Europe, regulation is really starting to drive some of this change so so from the top down but then you're getting that bottoms up you know that grassroots um you know just folks asking their advisors you know how is this investment i'm making fit you know kind of societally right and and asking those questions so i think you know the etf market is one that's well suited to you know to to help in that respect and that's why you've seen i think it's you know 40 40 or 50 new launches of ESG ETFs just this year, you know, in six or seven months. So, Peter, do you have any, you know, how much is the ESG ETF market as a proportion of the, of, of the rest of the ETF market in Europe, and how much will that grow? Yeah, we, you know, it's, I think globally it's around, you know, around 10%. Francine, it kind of depends on how you measure it. Um, you know, but, you know, in a proportion of new funds launched, you're looking at about two thirds of the new funds in Europe are ESG. Right. So this is really something, um, you know, that is, that is becoming very prominent. And in terms of people looking at, you know, benchmarks they've held for a long time and saying, do I need to reevaluate these relative to, you know, the E, the S or the G or some combination of that? And you make a good point in terms of, you know, the data is, you know, is catching up, right? Not yet standardized. And in particular, you know, the S is hard, harder to quantify, you know, but we see this as a, as a long term trend.